and you're watching this week's Reality Wrap. Let's get things started with the season finale of Marriage Bootcamp Reality Stars. It is day 10, guys, and it is evaluation day in the ring ceremony. I think this has been the most dramatic season to date. This week's doghouse moment, Dr. Ish, you was a little messy. You and Mac and told Gabby that Victor hooked up with another girl last night, was kissing on her in the club, dancing on her and all that. He didn't do nothing that bad. He was just dancing, he was drunk. He's filming a reality show. He's in his feelings. Don't so you that. went to the club last night and you hooked up with someone? I didn't hook up with anybody. You didn't kiss anybody? I didn't kiss anybody. How is that disrespectful? Hoping on someone in the club that's not disrespectful? But I will say I commend Gabby for confronting him in a very calm manner. Now she did storm over there now. She walked very aggressively because Victor ass hopped up like <laughs> This week's meltdown moment, Dr. Ish. I was surprised. Dr. Ish usually holds it together, but he was not here for Victor. He let Victor have it. What the hell kind of man does A man that, that can't hit a no woman. Excuse. A man that can't hit a woman. No excuse. You hold yourself accountable mm -hmm. for your actions, mm -hmm. and you hold yourself responsible mm -hmm. for your decisions. Mm -hmm. OK, it is the ring ceremony, and the couples are making their decisions what they want to do going forward. And I'm not mad at anybody's reaction. Pre and Buck finally set a date. This August, I actually want to set a date. <laughs> wow, Buck. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Pre, I'm going to need you to invite me to the wedding reception, girl. And after the wedding, girl, just give me a waist trainer so I can suck this thumb again for the pictures. <laughs> JP and Ashley, of course they stayed together. They didn't really have an issue. If you know, start making me and our relationship a priority, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen in the future. You are my number one. You're my number one. Come to find out, they made another baby in marriage boot camp. So congratulations to you guys as well. Victor and Gabby, you know what? I thought it was going to be Victor to say he didn't want to be with Gabby, but he wanted to still be with Gabby after all they've been through. She just fought him last night. He don't do shit in her face. He still want to be with her. I think I love you to death, but I need to love me. And I don't think I could be the best mom I can be with you. I'm going to make room to better myself, not just for me, but so for some time in the future, hopefully, show you that I could be that man for you. Gabby, I'm glad you got half a brain, girl, because when you opened that box and there was no ring in there, I was like, thank God. Amy and Dylan, now y'all know Amy is a big joke. She's so funny, goofy, always joking around. When she opened up that box and didn't have no ring in it, I thought that Dylan was possibly going, he was gonna be an episode of Snapped. I have never doubted you. Thank God. Because <laughs> I was about to freak out. We saw him go back from Dexter <laughs> to Dylan. Joe and Renee, I saw this coming from the first episode. I'm really happy that we came here, but I'm even happier to be going home without you. Girl, Renee, you are too fly to be with him anyway. We'll be back for season eight, guys. As always, keep the social conversation going using the hashtag Marriage Bootcamp. As well, tweet me at Mr. Ray. That's with two S's and two R's. As always, I'm your digital host, and you're watching Reality Rap right here on WeTV.